Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Pranilda Lutz. I'm a professional makeup artist. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'm gonna be creating two looks. One for Christmas Day and one for New Year's Out. And I have my beautiful model Chinook that's here with us and I'm so excited. Thank you so much Chinook. Because all the information and tips that I'm giving you is for free, you might as well watch the video till the end. And if you are here for the first time, please make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel if you enjoyed this video. I want to give my model Chinook two looks, one for Christmas Day and one for New Year. Or for any parties you have got. In today's video I've made an effort, I mean look at her. I am going to start as usual with a very quick cleansing of the skin using my favorite Bioderma micellar water. And then I spray this beauty mist from Omoro Vixa. And then I'm gonna prep her skin with a few drops from Glow Recipe. It gives a beautiful highlighter glow and it's a serum. And of course, like always, I love using this lip mask from Tatcha. And then it's time to give the skin that sheer glow rose face tint from Chantikai. It's a luminous gel cream that instantly blurs and perfects the complexion for a healthy looking glow. And to smooth and to perfect the foundation and the skin, I use this V-lighter from Valentino. It's a perfect top coat and primer. And I really love to do all the preparation of the skin with this brush from Makeup Forever. And my first top tip to even out dark circles and discoloration with just a color corrector from Beauty Pie. To define and sculpt the skin, I love this Royal Banana Low Lighter that lifts from within. It's a concealer, slightly lighter than the natural skin tone. And once blend, the creaminess of this product will add natural looking depth to the complexion. And now it's time for foundation. I use a foundation from Jouy, but it's very important to apply foundation to match the tone of the skin. For most people, one shade of foundation evens out the complexion beautifully but for many it can be look unnatural. In these cases use two different shades of foundation. It can be more natural than one. At this stage I move on to the eye. I start by prepping the lids with an eyeshadow primer from Natasha Denona. Using an eye primer prevents eyeshadow and liner to transfer. And I like to start with a pencil from NARS. And the color is Mambo and it's a high pigment eyeliner. Then draw along the top lash line with this pencil, focusing on applying more pencil towards the outer eye, also above the crease. This helps to create a lifted, elongated eye shape. Top tip. Using a soft, non-waterproof pencil will give you more time to blend with seamless results. Blend your liner upwards and outwards. Now it's time for a little more drama. After blending and to intensify the look, Add a darker shade of liner to the roots of the lashes and into the crease. A waterproof liner used here will give the best staying power. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury. And now it's time for that beautiful eyeshadow 
from Lisa Eldridge. This new eyeshadow palette from Lisa Eldridge is so so beautiful. First I'm gonna use the color Morph Decade and I set my pencil with this beautiful color. I press a small amount of this velvet eyeshadow onto the roots of the lashes in the outer lash line and also at the outer corner of the lower lash line. And then it's time for this amazing metallic amethyst color and wing out the shape. This helps to create a lifted elongated eye shape. Top tip, using a small angle brush for this. It helps to keep the eyeshadow looking clean and precise. And don't forget the outer corner of the lower lash line. Now I'm making this look pop by adding a shimmering shadow on the inner corner. And I'm using this brush from Rose and Ben, the E27. Now I'm using this new eyeshadow palette from Makeup by Maria. And oh my god, you know what? The camera doesn't catch how beautiful this is. I take a small brush from Rose and Ben and grabbing the lightest color in the palette. It's also the most beautiful glittery eyeshadow you've ever seen. And then we are going back to the eye palette from Lisa Eldridge and take the darkest color of this eye palette. It's the Violet Stone. With this dark velvet eyeshadow, you add some dimension to the lash line and the crease. And don't forget the lower lash line. This is a great way to draw attention to the eyes and really add dimension. Once your eyeshadow is finished, concealer can be applied under the eyes. I used the concealer from Kat Von D. Also, the concealer can be used to clean up the shape around the eyes. And then my all-time favorite powder. This is from Shivoshi. It's ultra fine, it's soft, it gives a beautiful sheer finish. And then it's time for a little bit contouring. I use the Fenty Stick in the color Mocha. With the brush from Rose and Ben and with swiping movements I give her that snatched look. And then it's time for some blush. With Petal Poppin from Fenty Beauty, I puff the cream blush into the apples of the cheek in circle movements and then blend it up. Tap this beautiful cream base onto the highest points of the cheeks. And also a little bit on the bridge of the nose. And I wanted to use two colors. This is also from Fenty Beauty, but it's a warm tone blush, a beautiful colory orangery blush, and I do it right on the apples of the cheeks. Now I'm gonna use this beautiful blush slash highlighter from Westman Atelier. And I lay this a little bit higher than I normally do. This will lift your cheekbones. Just with your fingers, take your time with blending and tapping with your fingers. I'm gonna use this Rose Ink Hydrating Cream Highlighter. I'm going to take that down to the bridge of the nose to lift it a little bit. And on the cupid bow of her lips, I'm also going to apply a little bit above the brow and on the highest points of the face. Just blend that in again. Keep it right there on the very very high top of your cheekbones. Very lightly with tapping lightly gently gently movements. I say gently because if you push too hard you grab the product underneath you and you don't want that. It's time to take some powder. I take this blush 
from Dior backstage in the color pink. It's a bit more cool tone and apply it highly to give that rosy cheek effect. Second one is a very warm tone blush in coral. Meanwhile, let's do the lips. I take a lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury in the color Iconic Nude. We are gonna overline her lips. And I really, really, really love this color. And then I will apply this beautiful color Sherry from Tom Ford. This lipstick is wonderful. It's also wonderful for my brides. This is sometimes a lipstick I would take with me to retouch. And now it's time for the brows. To define the brows, I use Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze first. But let them dry before applying any product, as they will ensure maximum hold. Once the brow freeze has dried, you have a perfect canvas. For brow color, the grip tool to create defined brows. With the brow definer from Anastasia Beverly Hills in soft brown, I'm going to make the eyebrow a little bit fuller. Just create some depth in the brow first. And then what I'm going to do is try to lift that brow up a little bit so I'm gonna sheet that part. And now I'm gonna use a brow marker. This one is from Nabla. It's in the color Ash Blonde. It's a micro stroking brow pen. I'm going to create a few individual hair strokes. And of course we are finishing with this Sweet Lashes Pro Less Lift Mascara. Then I apply a cream eyeliner from Natasha Denona in black. And I place this liner along the top lash line, keeping it close to the base of the lashes. If you'd like to apply a liquid lash liner wing, follow the angle of the bottom lash line. And I'm now using the sun beam of Shantikai. This is a beautiful formula. And I mean, lips have to be very, very glossy. Listen, I've been trying a lot of lip glosses, but there is nothing that compares with this Nude Envie. And I use a beige cream pencil in the waterline from Chantikai. White is too harsh. This trick is gonna make your eyes look bigger. I hope you enjoyed it and please let me know in the comments if you guys liked it. So please don't forget to give it a big thumb up and click on the like button and subscribe to my channel if you're not already because that helps me a lot. So thank you for watching but keep on watching how I transform Chinook in a very beautiful glamorous New Year's Eve party look. The first thing I do is put a beautiful silver color with an eye pencil from Urban Decay in the waterline. And now it's time to do some magic. I mean, really, this is magic. You need a couple of things. Patient, for example, but also a good brush. And I took a brush from Spectrum in collaboration with Katie in the number 24. And I mixed two products from Mihron. One is a metallic powder in silver, and the other one is the mixing liquid. And the only thing I could say is use your imaginations. You know, makeup is fun. It's really fun. And please don't get stressed out. It just enjoy, relax, have fun.
And what do you guys think? Stick with me? Yes, I used it now. It's from Valentino Makeup. And the name is in, indeed Stick With Me. And this is a primer for all that glitter. And then I use this multi-reflective eye glitter from Valentino. And the color is Silver Spark. And then I use the All Over Diamond Veil from Fenty Beauty. And the name, how many carats? Yes, that's the name. It's a diamond bump. And I use it on the highest points of the cheek and also in the inner corner of the eye. And I love to use this Air Matte Lip Color from NARS. The color is all yours. And of course, diamonds are a girl best friend, no? All the stones are from Get Stoned. Guys, this is the final look. And I'm so happy with the way it turned out. I hope you guys liked it as well. Thank you so much, Chinook, for coming. Please don't forget to follow Chinook van Bale on her Instagram. This is what I do. This is what I love to do all my life. So thank you all for watching. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at MakeupDateByRonilda. And I really, really love you all. And remember, makeup is fun. Wishing you all the best. Bye.